What's up guys, thanks for stopping by, I hope you're doing good. Today we are continuing on with part 3 of our Ashlands Valheim playthrough. Just to quickly explain in case anyone might be tuning in uh, for the first time in this series. Uh, the idea of this playthrough is I'm starting a new character on a new world. And basically I'm going to do a full playthrough of the game, I'm going to get all the bosses killed. Um, and then once we've got all the bosses killed, I'm basically going to collect resources and basically put together like a loadout and a character build uh, that I think should hopefully be better prepared for the Ashlands. Uh, that's the main goal. Uh, I'm going to be sort of making my way through this quite quickly because I, I am a speedrunner after all. It, it's, it's, it's not a speedrun by any means, but um, I'm still going to be... Making uh, speedy, speedy pro progress through it. Um, yeah, all right. Let's jump into it then. The first thing I actually want to do is um, we've killed the first couple of bosses so far, and um, we've sort of started to establish our base underneath the elder. Um, but we haven't started building it yet. And I would like to build it out of stone, which requires us to get to a swamp. And so before we do any of that, I'd like to start out by stocking up on portal mats so we can start placing portals down as we explore. What's up, Leo? Thanks so much for the stream. I hope you're doing good, dude. Just got into Valheim and I've been watching your vids. Great stuff. Oh, thank you so much, Leo. I really appreciate that. It's nice of you to say, bud. Welcome. I hope you're enjoying the game. Right, so we've got all kinds of random stuff in our inventory at, at the minute. And because our base, I, I've sort of, I know that there's going to be lots of people like, what the hell's going on? Why, why is the, <laughs> why is your base not up and running? Well, um, basically, from doing like a load of speed runs and stuff, right? Um, I'm used to not even needing a base. So, one of the things that is quite typical of um, your average Valheim playthrough, let's say, is to build your base in one way, you know, out of a certain set of materials. And then as you unlock more stuff, you'll sort of wind up either replacing a lot of that stuff as you unlock like rocks and uh, and and uh, stone stuff, etc. You'll either end up replacing it or sort of like totally rebuilding your base altogether. It's going to build a few fire arrows before we go. Um, so instead of doing that, um... I'm simply waiting until um, I have stone available before I even start building. Just so to save us a lot of time in the long run. One thing I am going to do though is that I'm going to put this chest here. And in this chest, I want to put it's a tiny bit of organization because our, we're going to like make the base look nice and do organization once we have the materials we want. But um, at the very least, because right now I just want to farm portal mats a little bit. I'm going to create a chest just to put portal mats in just for now like this. All right. So you can see we've got a lot of eyes, but you know, we need a lot more fine wood right now for example what's up me new sniper thanks for talking about the stream i hope you're doing good dude hey just found this we'll play through today and i'm loving it so far oh thank you i'm glad you're enjoying it bud all right so All 
I oftentimes switch between having music on and off because sometimes I just want to hear animals and stuff. We're going to start out by just getting a load of fine wood. Because pretty soon, today, basically, we're going to make our first carve. And actually going to start looking for crypts. Like we need, we found a swamp, right? But the swamp we found doesn't have any crypts. So we're just going to sail out. And we're also going to start like putting portals down at specific key locations where we want to sort of farm certain maps. I might actually like dig out a Grey Dwarf spawner to use it as a Grey Dwarf farm. Learning that you could fit more than one split on a campfire blew my mind. <laughs> oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah, well, yeah. More than one, yeah. Cooking station thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool, actually, that you can stack up quite a lot. We'll probably um, make some a little bit more serious gear once we start farming iron as well, guys, because iron is so plentiful in the game. You do need a lot of iron, but... One, one of the first... The, one of the most fun ways to play Valheim, right, when you do your first playthrough and you're new to the game is to build a lot of stuff and upgrade a lot of stuff. You don't necessarily have to build and fully upgrade anything, but exploring what all the different weapons are like and crafting them all and figuring out which ones you want to use and which ones are good and which ones are not. And then upgrading the ones you do like. That is actually all part of the fun of the game. But once you play the game a lot and you've done like a lot of playthroughs and stuff, you kind of just are gonna. Sometimes you might find it fun to just craft things just for the lols, but a lot of the time, everyone ends up with like favorite weapons, favorite items they want to go for, loadouts they want to go for. Um, particularly like as you progress sort of like through the ages and obviously you can like skip so much. Uh, you can skip almost everything so it really is a case of like going for what what it is you want at a certain point. I'm just going to get as much fine wood as I can carry, I think, before we go or before our axe breaks, which is probably going to happen first. Remove skill reduction penalty at death as default. That would be a good option, at least, in the world modifiers to just turn our skill reduction up altogether. Need to spread the word about this. Yeah, you know what, man? It, it's actually like relatively common thing to be expressed in my chat. I think a lot of people would at least appreciate an extra world bonifier tick box that just says skill reduction on or off. 
<laughs> just that alone would mean would it, it would add a lot more possibilities to how you would customize your playthrough, wouldn't it? So I agree with you. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. I'm not a super sniper. Appreciate that. Sorry, it's taking a sip of tea. All right. Um, okay, so. Yeah, still kind of could do with quite a bit more, frankly. Maybe I'll just put like regular wood here as well for now. You work really hard to level up the skills. Very unmotivating when it when it's reduced. Is the reason my buddy's left Valheim? Hmm. I, skills are a little overvalued. I will say. But I still agree with you. I still think uh, it makes sense to do that as an option. What's up, Carmelo? Thanks so much for the stream. Hope you're doing good. Good to see you as well, dude. You know, I think there's a, a lot of um, people that stop playing Valheim at some point or another due to various aspects to do with game difficulty and death penalty and whatnot. And I think that's why, or even in some cases, like lack of difficulty even i think some people got bored and i think that is why world modifiers are so good um but it would still be great to see them expanded even further so right now guys we're just uh i'm basically just grinding going for portal mats because today I'm going to make a boat and we're going to start exploring a bit more and hopefully get to the point where we can start building our base out of stone and uh, actually exploring crypts in the swamp because I actually explored a decent amount of swamp last stream, but there's just no crits. <laughs> What's up, Sergio? Thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good, bud. What's the advice, brother? So happy to see you on the Valheim grind. Oh, thanks, bud. Appreciate that. I'm enjoying it. It is actually a nice way to ease back into Valheim is to not be doing challenges and speedruns right out the gate so much to the community and i i know like really wants to see me do challenges and speedruns all the time and i like doing it a lot i actually in some ways enjoy it more than anything else at the same time it's very nice to, for me to actually play the actual base game somewhat normally because I rarely get a chance to do so. I might even start doing it more often. We'll see how this series goes. Go 
what we are. Okay, it's still good. We're gonna end up having to make a cultivator sooner or later. Oh, that's so close. We're not here to uh, farm deer and stuff. <laughs> now our uh, cooldown is over for our abilities. Could actually switch to the woodcutting skill. Wood supporting ability. I feel like hardly ever gets used, but. On the rare occasion when all you're doing is really cutting down trees. Still kind of useful. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. Corvo, I appreciate that. I hope you're doing good. Looks like this might be a ball stone. I'm going to aggro these ball with this. the other ball whatever maybe we should check this <gasps> no <laughs> the spear went through the tiny hole into oblivion Uh, yeah, we're doing new character prep for, for Ashlands, exactly. New character, new world, new playthrough. I'm gonna just kind of... semi sort of rush it. Till the end. But we're gonna kill all the bosses and... Uh, Get a character and a loadout ready for exploring the Ashlands. Uh, it definitely landed somewhere here, didn't it? Now, I'm not doing hardcore for Ashlands prep because the. Um, The problem with that is they usually do loads of um, balancing when the update is new and sometimes like the damage enemies are doing is so out of control. Here it is. Finally. Uh, sometimes the damage an enemy does is so outrageous when a a big update is like fresh combined with like how nuts the hardcore damage scaling is i mean it's sort of purposely unbalanced anyway hardcore right i just think it's gonna be a disaster a potential disaster to uh have my first ash like i want to jump into ashlands day one as soon as it's on test server on the test branch and I think doing that <laughs> with hardcore world modifiers it just potentially means you just like losing a character and all that stuff um, in a potentially unintentional way even by the developers <laughs> No, my character's not maxed at all. Pretty pretty fresh character. We've only died a couple of times. 
And this is only a, a level one bronze bronze axe. What's up, Science Michael? Good stuff by the stream. Hope you're doing good. So hyped to see you so it's in Valheim. Hell yeah, dude. I appreciate that. I don't know about you, but I know myself I'll be dying in Ashlands even without hardcore settings. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's going to be the case for many of us when we're new to it. Who knows what lies in the Ashlands waiting for us. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Zani Wook. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing good, bud. So right now, guys, I'm grinding for portal mats because today I want to explore a little bit. Um, we're going to make our first boat in this playthrough. Um, and before I do that, I want to make sure we always have the option to slap a portal down when we get somewhere so we don't have to sail across the map multiple times. Okay, where are we at now? All right, that that's a decent amount. I think maybe it would be good to grab a few more cores. You know what I mean? Um, okay. um, yeah, and so that basically the I'll just tell you guys what the plan today is. The plan today is basically to get to the point where we're clearing out crypts. Because we found Swamp already. We've already done the first few bosses, right? And this, we, we just, I, I knew I wanted to build my main base under the Elder. So we just rushed to the Elder and did it, right? And built underneath. But the reason I haven't actually done any proper base building is instead of rebuilding it over and over... Um, let's check this area, I guess. Oh, no. Hang on. Instead of rebuilding our base over and over as we unlock new materials, I'm just waiting until I get to stone at least, and then I'll just start doing it out of stone. Um, so yeah, I just want to get to that point ASAP. When I die in a hard. In hardcore. When I die in hardcore. It's hard to remember not all is lost. Still have roads, facilities, bases, storage. Hardcore is very good, right? Sure, hardcore's good. Yeah, exactly, Ips. I can hear crows, which tells me... There's probably a dungeon nearby.
Hi Nick, this series got me playing it again. Just started a new character yesterday. Wandered so far to a dog, a log wielding troll, which was avoidable. I did kill him. So later today, we'll continue our journey. Awesome, Harold. I'm glad to hear that. But you enjoying the series. What are these crows doing? Just randomly going around this tower. Well, we know there's a dungeon there on the south. We've got it marked. This is a potentially good candidate. For a great wolf farm. I'm just gonna leave it at that for now, I guess. I'm gonna leave this up. We did also find a double Leviathan spawn on the last stream, which we should go retrieve all those barnacles too. Do you really think Ashlands will be as hard as the devs? Do you really think Ashlands will be as hard as the devs said for hardcore solo? I'm not familiar with what they said. But beat the game in hardcore. It I mean, it's definitely comfortably doable for people that are good at the game and are very patient. But I wouldn't necessarily describe it as being easy either. So I can, I, I mean, I can, I can see uh, Ashland's hardcore being challenging. Fully expected to get stomped in Ashlands. I mean, for sure. I, I think, um, I don't really like playing video games in such a way where you always play so careful. You avoid every death, every loss. Um, at least the first time. Like, doing all of that as a fun challenge um, is great, but I personally always like to dive in um, to updates and to new games with very casual approach, just playing on normal first time around and just throw myself into all different kinds of situations to, to learn the most about it and just have fun with it. Then... If I enjoyed the experience, I may uh, redo it with all the harder settings and harder challenges. Thank you so much. E, let's go cheeky smiley face. <laughs> Thanks so much, friendly lunatic, for the tier one resub. I really appreciate that. I hope you're doing good. Yo, yo, I haven't read through the update notes recently. What's coming in Ashlands? Uh whole new biome the ashlands is already at the south of every map but it's empty uh it's going to be fully populated with new dungeons enemies boss and tons of new things to craft we don't know a ton of specifics yet but we know it's like a massive new update like the mistlands was so it's going to be lots of stuff uh remember we're just here to find some extra pause right now chap because we are wanting to um make a lot of portals 
They said they don't think people will be able to sort solo, solo hardcore one live. So we'll see. Okay. I mean, I feel like it's a weird statement anyway. I'm not on test branch right now, but I'll be going on the test branch for the Ashlands update. Um, yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a weird thing to say because I'm, I'm sure it will. But the thing is, right, with all this kind of stuff, it, like, it's why, like, I, I'm not, like, I don't make the main thing I do, like, do hardcore or whatever. It's why I have to do, like, very little of it. Because the thing is, with, with stuff like that, like, I, it's, it's why I like to do, like, other more unique challenges and stuff. Because making a statement like, oh, it's not going to be possible in one life. I feel I feel like it's a little bit silly because any anyone who so decides to be dedicated enough to prove them wrong on that will be able to do it simply by doing a lot of research on what it is they should do. Um, you know what I mean? Whether it's by watching a ton of streams and videos or you know, uh, using, uh, creating a world and, and, and using like commands to sort of scout ahead in the Ashlands. You know what I mean? Like not going in blind, basically learn as much about it as possible. And like, so then they know what to do and what to be careful for. And then even, even if you go in in absolutely blind, like, any way where you're just playing Valheim normally, which includes hardcore and stuff, right? Because it's just a mode, right? Like, it's, um, Valheim is one of those games where it's, it's sort of a lot more about preparation than it is about skill, if you know what I mean. So even if someone went in blind, I'm sure just like with the game right now, like if you're just super careful, you sort of take the time to fully upgrade things, over prepare for every situation. I mean, there's almost most players I feel like in this game can overcome most things in the sort of base game, just playing the game normally just by over preparing and being super careful. So to answer your question, Codex, I don't, after thinking about it, yeah. I, I, I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, but I also don't think it really matters that much if anyone decides to prove them wrong or not. Because, uh, you, know, what, you know, whatever. It's not, not a huge deal. But it's a fun challenge, I'm sure, for someone to uh, just do for the walls. And see and prove them wrong. True. Preparation is the most important thing in this game. Yeah, I mean, preparation is the difference between situation being extremely easy and relaxing and being genuinely difficult. Finally, you caught a stream of the content. Oh, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing good, man. Do you know any info on when we can expect the Ashlands? Uh, June at the latest. Love the content, Nick. Keep it up. Oh, thanks so much, Georgian. I appreciate that. Yeah, I agree, Codex. Just unlocks the, the Ether table. Loving magic, especially flame staff. What are your thoughts on magic? I think magic is uh, really, really cool and really, really fun. Um, 
the most useful case for it, as we were discussing the other day, is the queen fight. Sort of the 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 one of the few times where I think it's like genuinely useful. Um, we don't really need this. Um, however, you know, as a solo player, it's not the best for solos because it's 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 it's, it's it's extra powerful if you play as a group, if everyone else can just kite. Um, and also, I would like to see it expanded beyond what we currently have. But I think it's fun and very cool. I like doing it. I always make a nice staff myself. I like the DPS. It's fun. I like DPS and pretty much anything in games. I think every player learns that the latest with Bowmash. Yeah, it's true, true. I agree. All right, guys. We've got plenty of portal mats going. So I think this next thing is to actually build our boat. Our main goal today was just to... Our main goal is to get to the point where we're actually farming mats in a swamp via a crypt. Um, and because the swamps we found so far had no crypt, uh, and so uh, look, hang on, let me uh, let me rephrase that. People were, were, were asking me in the last uh, couple of parts of the series. Wait, hang on. We ditched arrows in the process there, didn't we? People was asking me in the last couple of parts of the series, like, what's the deal with the base? Your base is ugly. <laughs> we're talking shit like that. Um, basically, right, when, when you play Valheim, you kind of... Um, you be... What, what a typical way someone does, at least like the first playthrough of the game, right? Is like they'll, they'll build a base. And then as they unlock new things and new materials, you kind of can wind up rebuilding the same thing over and over again, right? Uh, as you get new mats or building multiple bases. Because like now I want to build a base out of stone, for example, right? I just, I've decided that in order to save time on this playthrough, I just wanted to rush straight to the Elder at the start. Because I knew I wanted to build under the Elder because it's one of the best... It's one of the best places to, to build like a raid-proof base in the game. Um, and just get that stuff down there. But instead of like starting making a little base out of wood and stuff under there, like I, I want my walls and everything to be made of stone. So instead of like wasting time starting building a base and then redoing it, we're just gonna um, get straight to a swamp and start getting iron and stuff and start making things out of stone. So in order to do that, we want a, a nice boat. We, uh, and we also want to set up several portals at different key locations, like somewhere we can farm for stone and somewhere uh, we can farm in the swamp to ferry mats back to. So I want to get all of that set up today, which basically requires us to get a boat together and also to uh, get a load of portals. So we started out our day farming portal mats just to make sure we can always slap a portal down because we're going to be doing a little exploring you always wind up putting more portals down than you think so plenty of those ready and then now we're going to make a boat and then we're going to set sail for hopefully a nearby swamp I may make a slight detour before we set sail on farming those leviathans whilst we remember because we got a real good spawn with two leviathans last stream
Hello, Nick. Your video made me and my friends buy the game, and it's super fun. Oh, that's really awesome. Thanks, Ash Winwell. Hope you're enjoying the game, bud. I really appreciate that. Will you cover the beta or any testing phase? Or are they going to keep it fully secret? I don't know bugs. Um... I don't, I'm not going to be getting any kind of like early access to the Ashlands update, if that's what you mean. But typically, obviously, Iron Gate do put their update um, on the test branch first. That is public and not secret. Um, and I will be covering everything in the update right from it going on the public test branch because... Basically, um, I'll do. I'm going to do what I do last time to summarize, which is I'll make a video covering absolutely everything in the update when it hits test branch. Because to be honest, things don't change massively typ typically between test branch and it, it going to main. It's just balancing. Like they'll, they'll change like the, the how enemies behave and difficulty of enemies, and they may redo the specific amount of mats required to make a certain recipe or whatever. So it's not a huge problem for me to cover it when it first comes out and then worry about that information being inaccurate. Um, but what I did last time was I cover it as soon as it comes out. And then once it hits main with the changes, I cover it a second time. So that if you watch both videos, it's all good. So that's what we'll do again. I'll make one video covering absolutely everything. Day one. Second video covering absolutely everything. When it's on main. And then we'll go into more specific videos on specific topics. As we explore the update. Ashlands will be... Uh, out at June at the latest, yeah. Hi, new Valheim player here. Can't stop playing. Did you start this world solely pre preparing for the Ashlands? I did, yeah. Hey, why don't you hit a couple points? Where you hit two or four, three parts at the same time, uh, it's slower. You do less damage um, when you hit multiple parts at the same time. This is one that you can feel it. Hell yeah, Chris. How many hours do I have in Valheim? If it's not a secret, <laughs> it's not a secret. I don't remember the exact number, but it's over 2,000. Yeah, it's a little bit slower to hit multiple parts just because of... Uh, it reduces you to actually I can show you. So you like see this bit? It's like okay, let's start again on a new uh, <laughs> on a new like part of the vein so we can demonstrate it correctly. So let's just find a bit where we hit one piece, right? So ten point eight, eleven point six, eleven point seven. So let's just call that an average of like eleven or more. All right, let's get a bit where we hit multiple. It's gonna be hard to find one. They're all, it's already chopped up, unfortunately. There we go. So 6.3, 6.4, 6.5, 6.6, 6.7, 6.8, 6.9, 6.10, 6.11, 6.12, 6.13, 6.14, 6.15, 6.16, 6.17, 6.18, 6.19, 6.20, 6.21, 6.22, 
Um, and then we'll get tin and stuff. Uh, I'll just do it. This is like way more than we actually need. But because we won't be doing a lot of bronze at all, we mostly skip it. But uh, I'm just making sure. Get a little bit of a stock up. Um, yeah, we'll get you there. Um, and I'll, we'll go and do the same for tin. And then. Uh, Honestly, we might be good for bronze for ages then. <laughs> nice tips. Um, Funny story when Miss Lance is out on the 22nd of November. It's in the hospital giving birth, watching your stream. <laughs> oh my god. No way, Sturmby. That's so crazy. <laughs> Hope everything went well. And the little one's very healthy. That's dedication to the stream. She's literally watching, smashing that like button on YouTube and subscribing mid childbirth chat. What's your excuse? Oh, did I miss a message about the base? Oh, I did. Sorry, it blended in because it's the same color in chat. Just arrived here. Why did you make a base on the Elder? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, someone did explain. I missed your message. Sorry, because your name's the same color as Zips. So I blended in. Um, yeah, so under the Elder base is one of the most um, raid safe spots in the game um, to, to build a base. Uh, that, that is on the whole uh, why we did it because you know the purpose of this playthrough is just to have a world and a character ready to dive straight into the Ashlands when it comes out. Um, so I'm skipping over a lot of stuff and trying to make this play for a little bit more of a speedy one. It's not a speed run necessarily, but we'll use some speed on strat still and trying to save some time. So instead of like rebuilding things over and over and whatever, I just like immediately get a pretty raid safe set up out the gate. And this is like one of the most budget ones. All you really need is a pickaxe. <laughs> Me and my son just finished watching your two point. 3-9 world record video. We ended up here. New Valheim players. Oh, welcome, guys. Thank you, Dad. Well, I appreciate that. Hope you're doing good, bud. Hey, Nick. Hope you're doing well. Still no estimation on Ashland. It's going to be here at the latest in June. So, I mean, the their initial estimation was in, in the first six, six months. Um, and rapidly that estimation is becoming more and more specific as June approaches so there you go the little one is awesome but the reason why I watch people play games oh I see what you're saying yeah the the little one is awesome, but the reason why I watch people play games and can't quite do it myself. <laughs> I'm sure all the parents in the chat can relate to that. <laughs> Definitely less time for gaming or no time for much. 
I was happy I find Hilda on my main world. Hoping the fact I explored the Ashlands is cool, I collected a bunch of the uh, Mitri or stuff. Um, so normally the way that works is the new version of the biome spawns in, uh, spawns in areas that you haven't explored. It should be okay, so long as most of it's still unexplored. But we don't yet 100% know how much of a problem exploring any Ashlands is. Yeah, but you should be okay if it, most of it's still there. We'll have to see though. I'll let you guys know about all this stuff when, as soon as we know. What's up, Terrier Dots? Uh, how are we getting on? We're getting on good, thanks, mate. We're going to be venturing out on our first boat today. Yeah, finding any trader on a world is, is good. It's still hilarious to me that chat always finds it crazy how often we find the trader on speedruns. So it feels like so it's not almost every run, but it feels like it sometimes. And then on this playthrough, we actually found the trader um, on our starter island, which is also crazy. probably want a lot of wood to begin with. So, that's a little bit of a waiting game for a bit, but we can. I think what we should probably do is uh, Should be able to sleep soon. Right. Iron Gate don't really do release dates anymore. It seems like they didn't, they haven't done the last several updates. They just give us like a sort of vague time, but they said it's going to be within the, the first half of the year. Which means at the latest it's due. Oh my god, I can't believe I just got this text message chat. I ordered a pizza from some random pizza place. No joke. Maybe like 10 years ago. Hey, the pizza wasn't that good. And I never ordered from there again. I have received a text. From this pizza place on at least a weekly basis if not more every single week for like a decade and uh, he tr tried to block the number or whatever doesn't seem to work <laughs> and uh, I don't this phone I just keep uh on pay as you go or whatever. I don't put credit on it because I don't really use it. So I can't text them to stop it. So it's literally just been like a decade of getting texts. It's like 
this pizza place. I swear that they text me more um, than once a week sometimes. I get more text messages from this pizza place than anybody. Excuse me. I think we're going to have to wait a bit too long. There's dedication, right? If only they put as much dedication into their actual pizzas. If the pizza would have been better, they wouldn't have to text all the time. Exactly. <laughs> They have an interesting business strategy. I'll give them that. Wait, did we ever explore this? Oh, it's just one of the many empty troll caves on this island. Thank you, Lunatic. I appreciate that. Enjoy the games, bud. Why was the pizza so bad? I mean, it wasn't so bad. It was like late at night and nowhere else was open. I lived in a different part of the city at the time. Um, It, it, it was just cheap, kind of greasy, not good quality ingredients, didn't taste of much. Um, so considering the amount of uh, pizza places there is available there's never any need to go back there again I mean I guess I'm just going to go to this swamp if I can't sleep now I spent a lot of time in your streams also I stopped playing Valheim because I had a sweet base and it got deleted. Oh, that's unlucky. Should have started again. Enjoy the game, definitely. Every new Valheim habit. Good troll cave, fire troll, true. Every new Valheim player, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's all almost done now anyway. Might as well just wait and... Uh... Use the night time to skip the smelting at this point. I'm not going to wait any longer. I don't want to miss the opportunity. Um, here's something I like to do. to sort of like alternate between the two by putting it you know on the hot bar um okay sleep Tip for being able to know if you can sleep is to look at how many minutes it's been since the last save. Oh, that's interesting. What 
What's up, Nine? Thanks for talking about the stream, bud. I hope you're doing good. Send me a Discord message. All right, all right. I'll check it in a minute. Do, 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 do. Right, let's um, we'll, real quick, we'll go and uh, loot those Leviathans that we saw. We got a super amazing RNG of uh, having two Leviathans spawn just offshore. So I'm going to go and do that. Um, We'll chest all of this for now as well. We'll come back to that. What's up, Christy? Thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good. Oh, got you, got you. I see what it's saying now. Um, okay, let's go and, um, get all the barnacles off these leviathans that are off the coast just over here. How many glint devices can you fit on one fire? I actually can't recall the exact number. It's a lot. I usually just spamming them down, honestly, very rarely trying to get the exact amount it's also how much time to tell you how much daylight you have left since each day last 20 minutes yeah yeah it makes sense yeah i just never used this save thing i never even thought about it but as soon as you said it i knew what you meant what about auto saves though there are random auto saves i know some people disable those My son stopped after planes. So we're doing a playthrough now. But through Mistlands to be ready for Ashlands when it comes out, having a blast. Just did our first dungeon in the Mistlands. Oh, that's awesome, Kims. Can't wait. Fun to see you doing this. Oh, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Hope you guys are having a good time. First half of the year is what Iron Gate said for Ashlands. Exclamation when? Exclamation Ash. All of these will get you that answer. Um, I'll put on our root harness because the PS reduction is massive. fall there. How you doing, Christy? Oh, you know what? I forgot. We didn't bring any boat mats. We need boat mats for this. Really? Hold up. A boat. A boat. Always being wet is annoying. Thank you, Terry. I appreciate that. Yeah, chat doing the commands uh, to inform people asking about Ashlands definitely really helps. We not have to re constantly repeat it. I don't mind repeating it, but. Just for the sake of the other viewers, it's definitely helpful. Yeah, exactly, right? June's getting so close now. Good thing it's getting ready for Queen Fight. I've avoided all spoilers as a gift to myself. Oh, that's awesome, Christy. I hope you enjoy it. Nope, Ash Silence is coming. 
very soon. It's not out. Make sure you smash the like button, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube, guys. It really helps me out. It's the best way you can help me for free. Even if you're watching on Twitch, in fact, if you go over to YouTube, smash like, smash subscribe. It makes it more likely for my content to show up in the recommended feed. So if you haven't done that already, that really helps. Just thank you. Um, what was I going to do? I don't remember what I was doing. Oh, right. Boat mats. We forgot boat mats. I'm just going to take mats for a raft for now. Thank you, Diablo. I really appreciate that. I think Gate basically said June at the latest crash lands, so. Once there's a delay announced, that's what we can expect. My rested is about to wear off. I might just re get it real quick. Thank you for the sub on YouTube, does it? I appreciate that. Hell yeah, Thomas. I appreciate that. <laughs> Dedication, bud. The queen is a little tough and a little crazy. But it's still very cool that we have a boss like that in Valheim, I think, ultimately. Let me open this thermos. My mum just recently got me a gift of this thermos to use on stream to keep my tea warm. So we're putting it to the test today. I almost drank all the tea already, but that's just life. You guys getting watch streaks? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How hot is it? I made this hours ago. Way too so hot I can't not drink that. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, we go back again. Oh, really? That's awesome, Itchy. Respect for answering these release questions so often, so kindly. I appreciate that, Robert. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. I'm trying my best to strike a balance for it not to bother other viewers. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, put this back on. Honestly, we might as well put this on as well. So the root harness is one of the best pieces farmer in the game. Actually, if you know you're a player that maybe struggling with your um, swamp endeavors because of archers and stuff, make it a root harness as soon as you can. It's a really good way to deal with that because it gives specifically pierce reduction that is absolutely huge and like any archer does almost no damage basically as a result come on skeleton oh it almost got leached thank you for the sub on youtube 
Tomas, I appreciate that. I'm just going to keep running a little bit. We can't kill. I mean, there's no point in every enemy we see, I guess. <laughs> I feel like the area. You'd think that Ashland's boss would be in a dungeon like the Queen? Yeah, I do, actually. That's a very good question, though. I think it's uh, one of the ways that I engage have uh, figured out to make a certain order of progression necessary. Any suggestion for finding big masses of mistlands without using outside maps? Yeah. Um, on most seeds, the Ashlands is sort of spawned in like a donut shape um, before the sort of extremities of, of, of the world. I'll take care of these mobs and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There, obviously, there's uh, it varies slightly, right? But basically, so the, the top here, right? This is deep north. This is Ashlands, right? And then the circle just in from that, kind of like this. A lot like that's where Ash, where Mistlands very typically spawns. So if you're just exploring that sort of pattern on the map, you, you'll find plenty of uh, Mistlands eventually. Some, it, it's hypothetically possible to just get a bad seed and you just find. There are there are bad seeds out there, I should say, with uh, lots of small mislands, but most likely you'll find a sizable one eventually. Where are they? I'm not seeing these uh, leviathans just yet. Look at this guy, this so sneaky leeches in this game. We've got poison resist as well, remember, because of the root helmet. He's on aggro yet. Oh my god, I way I thought they were gonna move faster than that. Cringe. Imagine oh my god. Imagine missing. Imagine getting hit. What is this? By the way, this is like one of my favorite things to do with Draugas is just kind of troll them with spears like this. It's, it's, it's so simple and easy. What's up, big brain? It's going good, thanks, dude. This is the area because I remember seeing that certainly spawner. Man, what 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 is even the render distance on Leviathans? It seems like so short. Hello, Leviathans? Oh, hang on it. They're sort of on the edge of that island. So they're further away than I remembered. Not island, but that bit of swamp. So we should... We could just... Hmm. I'm thinking about it. You know what? I think we... It's probably actually better to just sail from here. Is there only one queen spawn per map? Nah, there's... Five, I believe. Actually, um, because there's actually so the last 
couple of bosses spawn at like five different locations. It's actually a very interesting thing about the nature of how the world map in Valheim works. Is that even though they do, they are they do realistically feel like the rarest bosses, your Gluff and the Queen. It is simply by virtue of the fact that everything generally spawns in concentric circles uh, in terms of RNG, right? Like the. You can't get a Yag in the middle. You can't get a Queen in the middle, right? They become... They're more likely to appear. Uh, once you get a certain distance out from the middle, right? So the reason they feel so rare is just that... You, sort, you have to, like, ex explore. You have to traverse... The map kind of to check all of the different like you know let's say it's this circle or it's like where the queen can be right it means you've got to like keep exploring the world more you know to find it but actually um there's there's several but it doesn't make it any easier to find necessarily <laughs> Just because they're further away, basically. They honestly could up it a bit and it not even really be noticeable. <laughs> I decided that we're just going to sail from here instead of walking around the edge because I was just thinking how in that area we're in right there, there wasn't a lot of mobs. So instead of kiting half the world's worth of mobs with us on the journey to all Leviathan, we're just uh, do this. The best time to set sail from a swamp to avoid mobs following you is when there's no mobs around. <laughs> for Ashlands? Yeah, I'm super excited about Ashlands. It's going to be out. My, my, my thoughts on Ashlands is, is that it's like the ninth. Like, I don't see it. They said first half of the year, which means June at the latest, right? June's the cutoff. That's what they've always said. That's always been out there. Um, if they don't delay anything, my thought is that it's like 90% it's actually going to be June. I don't really see them releasing things any sooner considering they're rapidly running out of time. I'll do that because I know lots of people with the way everyone's attention span is nowadays being melted by social media and whatnot. That June to some may seem a million miles away, but it's really just a few weeks away. It's super close. I, I don't see... I don't, I don't, I don't see it coming much sooner. I would like it sooner because I would like to enjoy my summer a little more instead of being indoors making Ashland videos the entire time. So the sooner it comes out, the better for me personally. But I think it will be June. Regardless, it doesn't really matter. It's. Uh, They literally said first half of the year it is coming. Sometime between now and then, which is not a long time. Unless they announce a delay. Bearing in mind that like half of Iron Gate is at GDC right now, if not more than half don't know exactly how many are there and they are not there to, to showcase the update they're just there to schmooze and talk to other developers it's like everyone goes to gdc and uh, attend presentations to learn things um so it ain't coming this week A 
little speed run trick to fully mine our Leviathan. In-game development timeline terms June it isn't far away at all. No, exactly. The thing is, like, usually in the, the video game industry, things come out at the absolute latest possible side of a, a developer's estimation. And there's good reason for that. Because the thing is, right, if, if you're a developer and you, and you are finished, finished on time, there's very little to gain by releasing it early and a lot to gain by spending that time you've got between now and your projected release date by spending that time polishing it polishing it improving it improving it so even if it's ready i still imagine them polishing it until as late as it can Yeah, like, exactly. There, there, there is a build on the public test branch right now as well. It's, it's like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be June or a delay, frankly. <laughs> I think people sometimes forget that Iron Gate do things between these major content patches. Relocking stops your Leviathan from sinking. By the way, chat. So yeah, they're they're still working on the. Uh, on the public test branch stuff right now. What can we expect in the Icelands update? New biome, new dungeons, lots of new enemies, new boss, lots of new armor and weapons to make. At the very least, some kind of new feature has been teased with this like fortress time or whatever it's called. Um, some sort of siege scenario. Um, yeah, that is all at the very least. So many tons of stuff, frankly. A lot of fire, that's true. So you place the fire on the eat the uh, feet to kill him. How do you print the fire from turning off with the wind and all? Oh, you can't. You just have to kill him before the wind comes. So you want to do multiple fires because fire damage stacks. Four or five. And you want to keep repairing him as soon as possible so it doesn't they don't get destroyed. Um if he spawn, if, if the once the wind starts and the fire starts to go out, you just kind of have to start spam placing him because the fire will be lit for a period of time. Um, before he gets put out. Wedding that chitin, how many harpoons are you going to make? Yeah, we don't need all, all the chitin ever, but we're just going to do this once. I really want to make an abyssal razor as well. It 
isn't the flame metal already in the game? So you can imagine a few new weapons and such. Yep, exactly, yeah. What's up, Kiefer? Thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good, bud. You know, it could be good to have some backup weapons and stuff, right? Is there even any point in looting another? Probably not. Let's leave it at that for now. Very nice supply of chitin we have here though. They should make chitin armor. Use some buff with water or chance to bounce projectiles projectiles off it. That is a sick idea. So kind of buff to do with being in the water is actually a very, very cool idea. I love that. Um, let's go back and we'll make our abyssal razor and then uh, put our boat together and start exploring Let's -a go. Oh, there's many people in the chat that have like a huge stockpile of flame metal ready to see what happens to it when the update comes out. I've heard over the years of Valheim being a thing and Ashton's being there in its current state, I've heard many people say they're doing this. I'm curious how many people. Why do I break the raft? You have to to get the mats back. You can't deconstruct rafts. But this isn't our main boat. We're just temporarily using it to grab this Leviathan. We're going to go make a real boat in a sec. Serpent time. Yeah, that's why I decided to go straight back to the coast. <laughs> True thought. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. No goals, so you're doing good. Oh my god, my tinnitus is kicking in. So annoying. Yeah, I won't I won't like these mats back, so that's why we're doing this really. Geek Fear is gonna be ready in a minute. She's gonna help with this wet. And uh, put our root harness back on for the pierce resistance and the root mask back on for the poison resistance. Make things a little bit more, a little bit less treacherous as we leave. And uh, yeah, hopefully we find a good swamp that actually has crypts somewhere in a saleable distance. From our base that doesn't make it too much of a nightmare to ferry iron backwards and forwards because I would like to get started on making our base out of stone now. Also, we kind of do want to find a planes too. Oh my god, got down leech. I think leech is PS2, right? So, oh my god, talk about worst timing. Classic Valheim things. Yep, 
you have to do it on a recess world, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, if you don't... Uh, yeah, I, I think that's probably the better way to do it, if that's what people wanted to do. Do you ever ping a direction you want to go? Or do you always decide all it? Yeah, I ping a direction. I use that feature quite often. Especially during the speed run when you're doing a lot of rapid traversal. It's a little bit different, I think, when you're playing the world normally because a lot of the time you're retreading similar steps so you sort of know where you're going, right? I fight you glove in a little bit. Any tips? Just paddy gear and a black metal anchor. Well, I'll see how you get on with that, mate. But fire resistance, silver sword. Yark is actually weakest to silver because he's just undead, right? So spirit damage is really good. So silver sword's very good against him. If you'd rather use your Frosner, it's actually a little bit slower, but it's not much different. And the Frosner is obviously a really good all-round weapon. But lots of barley wine, lots of potions. I actually really like Fenris gear as well, because it gives you extra fire resistance and the fast movement speed. It's really useful. For your gloth. Because your gloth. So. You know. You go, you go like one of those enemies, right? Where you kind of, you want to play in a way where you never get hit by him really anyway. And his main issue is actually fire. Um, if you can't avoid the hits, then for sure go for high damage resistance armor instead but if you're someone that's confident with their dodge rolls and stuff Fenris armor is actually great uh, no but I don't think they have the Rache That is the Ashlands, yeah. I actually made a video all about it when the game was, like, new. Um, after Ashlands, how long will it take before Deep North is done? Like, one more year? I have no idea. Um, I, I'm going to organize some sort of Q&A session with someone from Iron Gate at some point chat. I just keep being too busy to schedule it. We've talked about it. I'm not sure exactly what we should do. Like I just have like, do I just have a conversation and we film it? Or should we do a live stream and you guys can just, we just do Q&A from the chat. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know yet. But. Um, okay. So. We want. Fine word. You think they will release a second armor for the planes as the other biomes have too? Not anytime soon, but they've discussed redoing the planes so several times, so I do think they might do that sometime in the future, because I know they've discussed the possibility of planes um, dungeons. I'm a full-time content creator. YouTube is my main source of income.
Okay. So. Um. Let's just go with this for now. The Visual Razor is just so goddamn good. I love it. Um. Oh, my inventory is full. What type of weapon is my favorite? I do really like knives, actually. I like not having my movement speed reduced. And I like DPS. Like stuff in general. Foggy, so he's the Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream, bud. Eight C bronze nails, is it? How's it going, she's still? Welcome raiders. How is everybody doing? Scene was chill. Did a normal power run. Nice. Nice, nice. Sounds fun. Okay, so 10 hide. Don't remember the last time I built a carve. Pretty funny. What I'm going to. I'm going to build one this time. And basically, what our objective today is, chat, on this playthrough, is uh, get to the swamp and actually um, what was I going to say? Yeah, well, I, I want to actually get to the point where we're actually looting crypts. Um, because the plan with this base was just to um, we're, we're sort of waiting to build anything until we can do it in stone to start with instead of having to like rebuild stuff or whatever there's nothing major on the public test build I have a view that they did a lot of work on the game between this land and Ashland, so you can probably expect more of the same. Sure. Ashlands is going to be at the latest in June, because that's what Engate said. Oh, we put our resin away right away. No, it's a Dumb, dumb. We actually are in a nice little spot here for ferrying mats. Totally unintended. Didn't wasn't really like considering how far away we were going to be. There we have it. You've never seen me in a car all the times I watch you. I think you're a raft addict. I kind of am, to be honest. I appreciate the, the torture. You're not wrong, to be fair. Um, let's port our first mystery portal down. I saw... Uh, people saying they want me to call my last portal Phil for some reason. 
and I didn't listen. So there you go, we'll call it Phil. Um. Do, 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 do. So we're just going to get ready to slap a portal down and go and explore. Should be pretty fun. Oh, we still have these here. I don't need all this. Let's take a little bit extra wood. Just in case. Okay. Let's maybe do a restock of arrows and stuff. I'm losing track of chat a little bit. We're not guessing about Ashlands whatsoever. I'm not sure why it is that it's not common knowledge, but Iron Gate said it was going to be the first six months of the year ages ago. There, where there's no reason that we have every reason to believe they're sticking to that timeline which means that the latest possible time is June um, I think we're going to maybe make some more fire arrows it's going to be here when it's ready but it, which is June until they say otherwise. They definitely might delay it or something. But until they do. Technically, we've been what they said it could be a little earlier, but I don't see that happening. like developers normally just stick the latest conceivable time within their estimation <laughs> thank you for the sub on youtube i appreciate that em thanks so much for watching today everyone by the way i really appreciate it Don't forget to smash the like button on YouTube. Even if you're watching on, on Twitch, by the way, it's absolutely the best way you can help me out completely for free because it makes my videos and stuff show up in recommended feed. Um, all right. We set in sail very soon. By the way, if there's any question or anything that someone asked me that I haven't ad haven't addressed because I missed it in the chat, feel free to just like ask it again because sort of lost track a bit. What do you think they meant by revisiting the mist in the mistlands? Uh, I've not seen that conversation, but if I was to guess, um, I think they're aware that lots of people find the actual mist mechanic a little frustrating and that they're probably open to tweaking that a little.
it would be so good if it was just like right here it was a massive swamp was it a walk and talk yeah i assume hoping after the queen of mist removed <laughs> Have you ever looked at a uh, mist lands without mist? It's it it kind of looks kind of bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think this will necessarily. I think maybe quite soon we might see some sort of reimagining of the actual mist aspect, but at some point in the distant future, I would like to see them totally redo the. Uh, The whole terrain generation and stuff in, in Mistlands as well as the Mist. I feel like the, doing those both those things at the same time would be the ideal scenario. Not much, but without the Mist, the Mist kind of covers a lot of weirdness of how it looks. When you see it without Mist, it looks a little weird right now. It is really visually impressive though. Wall of Mist. Is properly intimidating when you walk up to it. Oh yeah, I absolutely love it. I've done so many cinematic shots of it in my last video, the Miss Sam's Only Challenge, so I'm definitely a fan of how it looks, no question about that. It's actually kind of incredible how good Miss Sam's can look. Are you saying that they missed on the Miss Lands? Wait. Good one. Definitely. Making Miss Clearing items stronger is a good theory. I like that. I was watching one of your older videos and I was wondering if the walking cartridge across water still works. I tried it but didn't know if it was just messing it up. It doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it does still work. You just have to be a little careful. I think it should be missed, not a freaking really heavy fog. True. Good point. It's not really missed, is it? <laughs> it's like a crazy uh, fog wall. The size of the Great Wall of China. Um, I think we're just going to generally head further out. I really just... Swamp or um, planes is all I really care about right now, chat. What is the cart walking? Where's the walking cart trick? Um, there's an explanation of it in several of my videos. Um... You can basically use the cart as a boat by walking inside it. So it's explained in my latest video, the Mist Lands Only Challenge, which you can get a link to by doing exclamation mist. It is also explained in my Swamp Only Challenge video. I don't know if I have a command for that. Part as a boat, yep. It was actually... Um, wait, no. It wasn't the Swamp Holy... So, the, 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 the whole using the car as a boat was the biggest deal in my vegan only challenge video. Not vegan only. <laughs> Valheim vegan challenge. I have a video called the Valheim vegan challenge. Maybe you get a link to it by doing exclamation vegan. Because in that video, in that, uh, like I, my character isn't allowed to use leather or meat or anything like that. So therefore all boats are off the table. So we floated across the entire ocean to islands on a cart. That's the one with the most using the cart as a boat content. 
if uh, that's what people are looking for. <laughs> I think that vegan challenge was the most inventive Valheim video I've ever watched. Such a clever idea. Oh, wow. That's very big praise. I appreciate that, Bill. Thank you. Oh, that's where you saw it? Nice. I definitely mentioned it in the latest one, the Missan's only challenge. Um, I might, I think I covered it in, I, I have a video that's something like all Valheim speedrun straps explained or something like that. But I see some swamp there. I don't remember if I discussed it in, if I discussed it in that or not. So it's not really a speedrun. I a well well used to be on a strap. Um, this looks like it might just be like one lonely freaking swamp tree, doesn't it? But I guess we'll find out, chat. Is it very unstable? It's actually pretty reliable as long as the water doesn't get too crazy with the weather. <laughs> um, it's not the simplest thing, but it's also not the, the hardest thing either. Ooh, actually it's looking bigger than I expected. Iron Gate don't really do like confirmed release dates anymore they just kind of give us a vague time and uh, surprise us within it and that timeline that we was given was first half of the year oh my god we found bone mass with no vegetables here that is so lucky Yeah, so that means June at the latest. Zero reason to think otherwise right now. Hell yeah, that's actually really good. Um, oh, there's a crypt there as well. I was thinking... Um... Right, I think what we should do already is get this portal safe. It's going to be fine for ages. Exactly, Thomas. <laughs> that is lucky, right? Um, I was thinking that... Oh. Now, this isn't necessarily a huge problem. But it will be if we kite it all the way to our goddamn um, portal. Um, a wraith as well, eh? Um, what? I'm, I'm stuck! Fuck, game. Let's kite it this way. Jesus. One thing at a time. The archer shouldn't be doing much damage anyway because of the 
the armor that we have, so take care of that guy last. They missed. Okay, bro. You've had your fun now. I did bring a key. Wait, I think I might actually try and rest here for a second. I'm not resting. What am I doing? Sit down, bro. I like how you think set ghost on fire. True, me too. Aren't Jesus is smiling on you, Nick. First a trader, now bone mass. Maybe you should sail to the nearest planes to see if you can... See export from the coast. Yeah, true. I've been very lucky. Um, what I was going to say is my idea for um. A portal in the swamp was to actually make like a portal shelter at the, in the trees. And that's kind of a cool idea. Uh, collision on uh, this guy is so scuffed by the way as you can probably tell it's actually kind of generous with this part underneath him oh my god I couldn't quite see there Let's actually deal with this dumbass little skelly. Remain calm. I saw a Draugr sneaking up somewhere. There he is. GPU, 18 red or blue, or uh, red or green. Um, I have an NVIDIA GPU right now. I have no clue if Valheim on YouTube just isn't that big. But something is wrong with the fact that you only have 17.000 subscribers. <laughs> You're I... doing a fantastic job, Nick. You're very good at forward information. Do we know the date per month for Ashland? Oh, well, first of all, thank you so much, Martin. You absolute legend for the $5 donation. Thanks for supporting the content. Keeping the dream alive, bud. I really appreciate that. And uh, thank you so much for the kind words. Um... That really means a lot. Um, 
I consider it a big compliment whenever anyone tells me they're surprised at my sub count or whatever. Because uh, I had a lot less for a long time. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, in regards to uh, the information on Ashlands, uh, they said it was going to be out in the first half of the year, and obviously that deadline is rapidly approaching. Um, so that means June at the absolute latest, which I think is a. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> They're totally just determined to destroy our portal, all the enemies on this save. Yeah, there's lots of things that we could do for a little portal defense, but I very rarely actually build in the trees. I think it's like a fun opportunity to build in the top trees. To be honest, though, with how close this is, to the swamp in question. Maybe we just stick to meadows anyway. GG troll. Would I get straight to date further or personally I don't think so. But if they do, I'm sure they'll announce a delay. Instead of it being done like secretly or whatever. You know what? I think I am actually gonna go with this uh, idea of Um building a base in the swamp trees. So let's just do it. Not a base, but a portal room or whatever. We're just doing this kind of messy uh, setup just to stop like railings and stuff, harassing it temporarily. This is some of this stuff that we dropped. Shane. Okay. I've really, really been holding a P. Oh, I made myself flip. <laughs> okay. Let's do a sleep. And, uh, yeah, well, we're actually going to get set up with what we wanted to do with the swamp and uh, maybe even defeat bone mass. All right, I'll be right back. I need to pee. Don't go anywhere. Smash like on YouTube.
Ooh. Needed that one, chat. Sold this tea, I guess. Um. Okay. What next? So, just to reiterate. The goal, right, of this playthrough is simply to just defeat all of the bosses and just have a character build with a loadout and gear just ready for the Ashlands update. So I'm going to put a loadout and a character build together at the end of this playthrough that I think will be ready to take on the Ashlands. Um, so I am rushing through a little bit. I'm um, a speedrunner after all. And so to save time, I just started out by coming straight here. Basically, at the start of the run. Um, to defeat the first two bosses. Um, because... I knew I wanted to build my base. Under the Elder. Because it's one of the most raid safe locations. Um, and so that's why I haven't done any real base building. And why my base looks like shit. Because... Typically, when people do like a Valheim playthrough or especially a first one, you kind of end up sort of starting out um, making a base out of a certain material. You might upgrade it afterwards. So you sort of end up redoing the same base like several times, different materials or new bases every time. So I'm just waiting until I have access to stone before I actually start building. So I can just do stone right out the gate. Um, and to do that, we want to get onto Iron Age stuff. So today, the goal is just farm a load of portal mats so we can start exploring the world, make a boat, start exploring, find a swamp with some crypts. And just get started making the base out of stone and maybe even uh, defeat bone mass. Um, trying to where, where exactly do I want to do this? I don't want it to be too close. Yag, honestly. I might even just do it right here. Um, but you know what would be even better? Is if we could find like a stone tower or something near a tree. Try to find... Sorry, there's a lot of questions here, actually. My bad chat. I thought, let me address some of these questions. Oh, another abomination. When Ashlands drops, will existing worlds be able to place a new Ashlands generation? Yeah, the way it works is the new biomes. The way it usually works is, let's say, the, uh, I just realized I've not put my root stuff on yet. So let's do that before we get arrowed. Um, yeah, the way it normally works is the new version of the biome spawns in the parts that you haven't explored on the map. Uh, we have no reason to think it was going to work any different. The Ashlands, so that should be fine.
That's not fun. Some more questions in the chat in a second, guys. Sorry. Just keep getting bloody abominations. You keep making me look at the screen. Imagine that. Imagine having to look. Whoa. That stutter was almost disastrous. I hear fuelings though. I'm backing off. Yep. They're getting involved. <laughs> True Frost. I think I may visit one edge of the Ashlands just to preserve a little bit of the old. That's a cool idea. I do kind of like the current Ashlands in a way. It's a vibe to it. Not too much of a purpose, but a vibe to it. Worried Frost will be meta yet another biome. <laughs> I don't think so. It'd be funny if it was though. So. Well, good news is we've got planes as well. Um, let's continue exploring the Ashlands here. Uh, the Ashlands, the swamp here though. I think we'll caught up on chat now. The play is too cool. Nice to see how I should play so I won't die all the time. <laughs> you see that, mate. too carried away on uh, finding the right spot for this little miniature build we want to do just for the vibes for uh, portal placement because it's honestly not that important I do feel like I've only seen this one crypt so far which that would be very disappointing <laughs> this is one Oh, I'm so excited ab about the dungeons and the structures and stuff and just like what Ashlands is going to look like. Ooh, two. That's actually a good sign, finding two close together as well. Well, there's a shitload of iron already, realistically, most likely. Most scripts are pretty stacked with iron. You can get, obviously, like a basically a one room crypt which is dog shit but Jesus we're gonna have like so much root and stuff wait did we not even loot any root from that other Abomination, I guess we didn't.
Come on, bro. I can't read chat and fight an abomination at the same time. It's so annoying. <laughs> Are we sure this is an abomination and not a troll? Lol. Um, okay. Let's uh, do this. Okay. New here, do you bring iron back or process on site? Um, I usually bring it back now. I When I first started playing the game, I did it on site. There's an easy solution for that. Ban abomination is true. It's a trolling ab abomination. Yep. So, actually... Um, whilst this is okay... Um, not really the best, is it? I'm really unsure about building this portal in, in, up in the trees now. I'm going to do it, but... Is it just going to be annoying? Whatever. Let's just do it. just uh, make a little platform ahead of us. Um, just before this skeleton becomes extra annoying. <laughs> New player here. Until I got to the mountain, I only had mostly only boar raids one troll raid since he got to mountain get a mountain raid every other hour it's quite awesome don't need to go to mountain for blue stuff nice yeah basically as you defeat the bosses you'll uh, start to experience more raids and uh, yeah actually raids can be um, really useful for obtaining certain maps, that's for sure. high up now let's just call it at this when it comes to uh, height I think I rebound my buttons for uh Oh shit, nope. <laughs> Close.
Nice. Follow your speedruns for a while. It's weird seeing you actually build anything more than an overhang for a bed. <laughs> or you got fit. Yeah. I feel you, bro. It's kind of fun, though. Not gonna lie. Imagine playing the game normally. Valheim games, fun check. Can you imagine? I thought I was doing these a bit backwards, aren't I? A little bit weird, but it's all good. This is literally just, uh, you know, I don't care about this being like super fancy or anything. It's just a place to put a portal, but I thought it was a bit more interesting to put it in a tree. That's all. You know what I mean? Actually, maybe we, maybe this actually we could put, oh no, we can't put a fire there, can we? Whatever. Um, I guess I'll put my workbench over there. All right. Let's go uh, gather the actual portal now. Um, using the actual... Uh, ha having a workbench down here would be alright for helping prevent enemies spawning close. Evening, Poseidon. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good. One question. Do you know when Ashlands will come to the game? June at the latest is the official. Uh... Building is the best part of the game. It kind of is, to be honest. Building is so good, it is such a vibe. I, I do love lots of like everything else about Valheim as well. Um, but yeah, if you're in the mood for building, there's nothing quite like it. Chill skeletons. The comfort system is genius. Very few games in this genre actually offer a tangible benefit for decorating your house or building. I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, when you play Valheim through for the first time, there is honestly nothing like it. And uh, I, yeah, there's, there's, there's so many things, right? I'm just going to get even more disorganized from the storage because we can we can actually do a real storage system soon. Um, yeah, one of the standout features of the game, I think, is the uh, the comfort system just because it is so clever that you are actually incentivized to build stuff. Um, building is always one of the 
most fun aspects of these kind of games, right? But like, so rarely are you massively incentivized to do it. I am a frame rate's own worst enemy. That's funny. I'm sure all builders can relate to that. Building this game has spoiled me when it comes to building other games. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Building is fun, but I wish I had more options early game for Ruse at least. True. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by, bud. I hope you're doing good. Good to see you as well. Anyone seen the builds in that Valheim RPG map we just built? Jaw dropping. Comparable with Nick's server builds. I actually thought the same thing when I saw it. Saw it. It's like, well, I've actually said to the to everyone about the our build server that it totally would make like some of the builds would make like amazing adventure map type stuff. Be a very cool thing. Maybe we'll set up a project like that in the future. Any intentions of playing the Valheim RPG map from Dakar 9 by only seeing a small portion of it from Thread? But the builds looked amazing. I watched Thread play it a little bit as well. Um, what was it? Any intentions? Um, I'm actually not sure yet. Um, the, the weird thing about the sort of current situation with everything when it comes to me and my content schedule is like... I want this series needs finishing, obviously, because Ashlands is going to be out soon. But because we actually don't know for sure when Ashlands is going to be out, it's hard for me to say certain things for sure, which is honestly my only gripe with the way Iron Gate are doing things now with like where we don't get release dates. We just get a general time period. It's just like as someone that makes content uh, for a living, it's very hard because I just like my approach has to be, yes, I, I, I don't know when it's coming, but when it does, I have to drop everything and I can't plan for it. Um, so, what I'm trying to say is uh, that map looks really cool. I have to... I have at least one sponsor commitment as well for when the Ashlands launches that I have to do right away. So, once this series is over... Uh, th there's a couple of other videos that I'm interested in making but when it comes to stream content I am very tempted to jump onto that adventure map next after this series but if Ashlands just comes out I'll have to drop it so I don't actually know totally but I am definitely interested in doing a playthrough of that adventure map does anyone know, by the way? I know that... Like, in Thread's title, it was like... It was the test. Or whatever, right? The testing was now, now open... For this map. Um, let's center that up a little bit better. Like, is the map done to the extent that there's quote unquote like an end or whatever to what's going on on there if there's like a start and an end I feel like I'm more incentivized to do it how do you solo the sea serpent Took a, a long break and forgot. Um, if you just want to kill it, then uh, you know whatever arrows you have that is highest pierce damage for you, are very good against it. Um, I 
if you want to harvest the mats off it um, for making the shield and stuff, you, you'll have to kite it to shore, which you drag it with the... Um, use the uh, harpoon to drag it to shore. So you make the abyssal harpoon with the mats that you get from looting the barnacles on a leviathan. And then drag it to shore. Yeah, you remember now. Nice. Yo, dude, catching you on Twitch for the first time. Laura of the YouTube videos also joined Valheim after Mistlands. When they update, if I haven't explored the Ashlands, will they be updated? Yeah, yeah. When, when the update comes out, first of all, thank you. I really appreciate that. Glad you enjoy the content, bud. Uh, and second, yeah. Generally, the the way it works when they release new updates is uh, I like to leave a fire, by the way, and. Uh, workbench near certain they like random things that are placed just because so it prevents enemies from spawning su immediately like, super close it's not like massively effective but oh, something i like to do also kind of easy to see right with the smoke but yeah generally when iron gate release an update um the new biome just spawns in areas that you've not explored on the map yet. So, so you see correcting your assumption there. I've only seen folks hit swamp so far. No idea what's beyond. It's a little mountain biome in places. No little plane. So I think we've probably gone as far as planes at least. But only mistlands I've seen so far is dwarf mobs. Oh, and this adventure map, yeah. As far as I can gather, it's finished with the vanilla, but they've opened it for final place testing to spot any bugs they might have missed. I heard with the new Unity change, you might have to make a new world. We'll see about that, I guess. We'll uh, approach that as it comes, I guess. Um... Um, chat's discussing this uh, adventure map that came out for Valheim. What you gotta do now? You're in trouble, aren't you? It's so good having the root harness for dealing with archers. I mean, just look how useless they are. Um. Okay. We've already got a load of random bullshit in our inventory. Um, I'm now just thinking it's going to save so much more time chat if we get another portal. Just to use for when we're clearing out crypts because walking backwards and forwards up those stairs just to repair and stuff like that. It's just going to be so annoying. It 
Is the Flint Spear the best balance in terms of DPS less price to make? No, but the way the game works, the way the game is balanced is actually really interesting. Basically, everything that you get in the Mistlands. Sorry, in Mistlands. you know, way ahead of myself. Everything I, that you get, right? From the meadows. Um, basically, all of the flint stuff. And, and even like the club, right? All of that stuff. When fully upgraded has the biggest jump in sort of like relative damage the, the the jump you get for upgrading all of that stuff essentially has a bigger impact it, that that impact gets less and less essentially as you progress through the game it sort of makes sense right because obviously things start to do the base damage is more and then the base sort of let's say like threat of enemies is more so all of the early game gear if you fully upgrade it is actually amazing value for a really long time um especially if you know what you're doing with it but if uh if i in terms of like what is really good value in terms of uh, DPS slash cost. Um, the Abyssal Razor is amazing. Amazing damage uh, for cost. Very cheap to make. Really effective. I mean, even if you just put it up just to level 2, it's crazy good. Um, the other thing is, like, one of the main reasons... That is why I'm sticking with Flint stuff and, and for a while and then we're just going to do a little bit of Iron stuff until we have some of the later game stuff. But um, one of the other things to bear in mind is like just the, the move set, like what I'm doing would be good with any spear, right? But th just be, to being able to throw the spear is such an advantage when fighting like so many different types of enemies. Um... We're being camped by a troll. So to call this loot. What's up, Aaron? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good. Um. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm sort of thinking about maybe... Going and taking care of that troll just in case. I mean, it should be fine. Wait, it's not fine. Not fine. Come this way, bro. Yeah, we do need to kind of address that side where the little river is, because this this is how we can get in. Look. <laughs> A little bit annoying. Uh, he can't damage the altar now. This river formation is definitely kind of like fucking us up. I think we maybe just. Uh... Yeah, 
We'll build a wall by raising the ground. I think. AI wall. He just uh, decided not to. Attack me there. <laughs> We're not done Bone Daddy yet, but we actually just found him without even finding his veg Vasir earlier. Yeah, this bit here, we need to turn into a wall by raising the ground. Uh, we should probably do it sooner rather than later, right? Because... The whole point of this setup is that it's raid proof. <laughs> One troll found its way up there. If we get a troll raid. So the point in everything we've done today, right, is to get access to building things out of stone and kill bone mass. We're going to do those two things. I'm going to go get a portal set up somewhere in that plains, actually, for farming stone. Oh, we should do that first. That's what we should do. So it's going to be a little bit tedious to make this wall from raising the ground, but that's the solution to a, this weird-ass scenario where but we're basically would be invincible if this could be all the way around, but um, just because of this river, they can just walk through the river. So I'm just going to wall off the river by raising the ground. And I'll probably wall off this corner as well just to be extra safe. What's up, Dogwatch? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. But yeah, I was going to get a portal down somewhere safe in the plains. The best solution to that is actually finding Hilda. Because she'll give us the location of like one of those plane towers, but we don't have that yet. But anyway, the reason for that is obviously we can use the plane's towers as a massive wood source. But actually, if we do that now... We're going to need a lot of stone to make this wall anyway. So we might as well just do that now. Then we're two, killing two birds with one stone because we need access to stone. So we can actually finally start making our base with stone. And we... Uh, Need access to stone. So we can put this wall up. So we just do that now. Pouring myself some more tea. I might be. I think I've emptied this thermos already. But let's see if there's any left. A little bit. Thanks for watching the stream, by the way, guys. I'm really, really happy. Uh, I have to, you know what? I, I, I gotta say this about you guys. I, I, I really appreciate that you guys are enjoying this and, and that you're, you're watching today and we're all having a good time just chilling out together because obviously I've been doing Valheim content for like a long time. How hot is this little last little bit, I wonder? Oh, it's cooled down quite a bit. Um, yeah, well, one thing I'll say is... Uh, you know, I've been doing Valheim content for a long time. And obviously the vast majority of my streams have been... Um,
speedrun streams and challenge streams. And I love doing it and I'm going to continue to do it. But from time to time, you know, it's just, it's nice to just do a different kind of Valheim playthrough. Whether it's um, playing the game like this for our Ashlands prep or whether it's hardcore or something. But I, I got to say, usually... Um, less people show up to those kind of streams when, when I do something a bit more casual. Unless people watch those like VODs on YouTube. But people seem to really be enjoying this Ashlands prep thing. And it hasn't been... It's been like this exact same amount of people basically that would watch me. Speedrun, so I really appreciate that. Did I just... Yeah, I just turned off auto-collect without even realizing it. So I'm glad people are enjoying it. I'm amazed I've not found your channel before considering how many Valheim videos I've watched. That is crazy. You must have... It must have been in your recommended feed and just not clicked it. Glad I've found it now, though. Been loving these streams the last few days. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate that, bud. Thanks for contributing to this arguably small community. I appreciate that. You must thank you. I love the Valheim community. Love the chill vibes, Nate. Thanks, Ashley. I hope you're doing good, bud. Play this with a group of friends. Finish Mistlands 2. With another group of friends. Is as fun as the first playthrough, yeah. Look how nice the plains is in the morning. Pure vibes. We could look for a Yag uh, rune while we're, we're at it as well. By the way, guys, if you make a root harness and you run around with a knife, this place becomes a lot less dangerous. For anyone that's like scared exploring the planes because you can literally just tank like the knife doesn't reduce your movement speed right so you can just always keep it on and you can just tank the deskitos anyway we hit him before he hit us anyway but you know you, you can just tank him with a root harness because the pierce damage resistance is so big just find starting miss lines and finding it tough yeah, it is. It is a step up. Enjoy watching you play any style, but this more chill is nice. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate that, James. Thank you, bud. Glad you're enjoying it. I'm really enjoying doing it. I love watching people's first playthrough. Just want to see reactions. That's true. If you're talking about how to make a cart, you just need some bronze nails and some wood. towers for anyone that doesn't know from watching my speedrun content always have a yag totem inside the summoning yag so we'll grab that whilst we're here oops Oh, he's too high. <laughs> I can't reach him. Um, I'm just looking for like where would be a good spot right now. To build a portal. Ow. That's not good.
Does make great forward bases when you just get into planes. True, maybe that's what we do. Um could go with one of those trees. <laughs> It's a nice looking mountain up there. That almost looks like a modern mountain to me. Very thick. Uh, no, t t there's two ways to roll in Valheim. You either have to crouch and press spacebar in a direction, or you have to hold block and press spacebar in a direction. The way I recommend doing it is to basically already be holding block when you're in a fight. Almost always be holding block if you're at, like, not always holding block, but be holding block way before you're going to need to dodge roll. And then just be ready and be directly facing the eyes of like the 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 enemy basically. Let's say this thing's the enemy. Well, we don't have to make that all do it. We've been chased by an enemy. Let's just do it. So like be holding right click way before you need to dodge roll right. This is how I do it. Um and and try and just always have your mouse cursor on the enemy. So it makes it clearer what direction you have to roll in. And then just roll in a direction that's like... Sort of horizontal of the attack pattern, basically. It doesn't... It depends on what the scenario is. If it's a close quarter, if it's a, a ranged thing, you just want to go away from it like that. If it's a, a close quarters, you can actually go in any direction. You're invincible when you're rolling, so you can actually roll into him. So rolling into an enemy is actually a good strategy if you want him to stay up close and personal to keep doing damage. That's just as an example. Now, obviously, managing your stamina is very important when you're doing all of this. But that's basically how I handle that dodging and stuff. One of the people I play with needs to be watching this right now. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Welcome, Trust. Um, Goblin cast mighty back true. Didn't know you could walk and space bar. Oh, you're welcome. Where do I find leaks in this swamp? In the water, inland. You can play old saves when updates comes out. That's correct. So I'm doing all the bosses. And once I've done all the bosses, I'm going to put together a character build that I think is going to be like well-equipped to go straight into the Ashlands when it comes out. If, the, if there's any other questions or anything I'm, I'm missing, just let me know, guys. I might be missing stuff. Foggy, thank you so much, Welsh, for gifting a YouTube membership. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Very generous, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Trust. Yeah, dodge rolling kind of is the key to success. <laughs> You're not wrong there. So right now, I'm just scouting out this planes, guys. Uh, I, I want to farm like, like all the planes pillars for uh, the stone because I, I want a lot of stone because I want to build my base out of it. So we're just scouting out, see what it looks like, figure out like where we want to get a portal down and stuff.
I jumped so I could hit him on the way down by spamming because he's going to be too far above me to register a hit there. Yeah, they are so good for stone bill. I agree. Why am I skipping mountains of silver? Um, I'm not really. I, 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 I'm, I'm mainly just here for stone at the minute. It's nice, by the way, as well as some little advice uh, for anyone that might be on the first playthrough. Like, everyone struggles finding your glove, generally, on the first playthrough, or on a lot of playthroughs. <laughs> um, so, one, one way to make it less brutal is, like, to explore a plane when, whenever you see it, really. It might feel daunting at first, but if you make... Look, like we don't have much here, right? If you make this root harness, it's really the key because we can survive being hit by Dasquito so easily. Um, it'll make things a lot simpler, even if you're all just running away from everything else. But scouting out planes, whenever you see them, is just going to make it hurt a lot less when you need to find Yag in the end. Um, actually something kind of, um, it's not mega useful, but you can get one of those wheels, can't you? And these chests. Level two abyssal razor, by the way. so good dude it's actually nuts okay well not that event for this plane is it frankly we could probably Clear it out of most enemies now. Um, maybe we just, maybe we just do that. It'll simplify where we want to get the stone, right? Because it was mostly all in this area where all the camps were and everything. I just kind of tanked that one because I wanted to get the stagger on him. Uh, this rain's a bit annoying. I accidentally unequipped my Razor, but I still committed to the combo <laughs> just for the DPS. Because <laughs> you can still punch Tosquitos, even though it's kind of cringe. Um, Valheim's like UK for rain at times. Oh my god. Tell me about it. I feel like we're, I've had two days. We've had like two days with, with the sun. Out of like the last two months almost. <laughs> it's brutal. Um, I'm now questioning... Uh, 
You know what we could do? We could put our planes portal inside one of these rocks. Be a bit cheeky about it. We haven't explored this way, actually. Just want to say thank you for your Swamp Beginners Guide. Turn my group around. Oh, that's awesome to hear, Samuel. You're very welcome, but I love hearing messages like that. Try Scotland. We've got more words for rain than almost any language. That's funny. Been looking for someone building an ark in Wales. Had 40 days of 40 nights of rain already. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Yorkshire's not much better. <laughs> um, Why am I not already replacing this with this, by the way? What's going on there? Got molt three deskitos and they're fueling fight and three growths. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> so it's so, so funny. <laughs> Who needs TV when you've got this? That Deskito is still going. There we go, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, growth's gonna be annoying for sure. Why do I feel like I've lost all of the pillars? Okay, there we go. One there. You know what? I think... I I think I know... Yeah, I think we do clear out this structure and place the, the portal in there. I think that's our best option, honestly. We've been looking around, seeing what there is, seeing what our best option is, and I think that's it. Yeah, we could do it inside one of the rocks, but the thing is, we kind of want to knock all the rocks down, so... This makes more sense. Hello, boys. Dirty, dirty strats. No, I got greedy, so greedy. Well. I think we know what we need to spend our extra root on. It's going to be a backup harness, isn't it? <laughs> Motherfucker. Um, 
It's definitely gonna simple diet things a bit. Wait, do we not have any ancient bark or all this bullshit chest that we finally can organize once we build our base? We actually didn't. Okay. There we go. We don't need it. It's whatever. Well, it would have been nice. Yeah, if you're going to build a second set of any single piece of armor in this game, a second root harness is clutch when exploring any planes. Are you wearing a yellow ball on your head? This is actually one of uh, the newer haircuts that was added to the game. <laughs> it's just cringe. I ain't getting chains in Valheim. True. We were moments away from uh, getting our portal down there. Never mind, no big deal. Hopefully we didn't just get a super cringe amount of mosquitoes respawning. Some of the problems about <laughs> progressing the days. Yeah, I know that, Harold, but right, this isn't really my, my base yet. I'm doing it like this for now, just so it's easy to remember all my portals. Once I've got all this stone harvested, we're going to build like my actual base. And then we'll, we'll compress down the portal setup. And I'll just make like a load of uh, signs reminded me. One other tip when dealing with the planes, um, even though on your first playthrough, you know, it's like a jump in difficulty, right? But there is actually one big advantage to the planes that you don't have in other biomes, and that is that you can see so far away. So if you zoom all the way out, you can avoid aggro just by not going anywhere near enemies. I know that might sound kind of obvious. Um, but it's true. Oh god, I just did the wrong armor piece.
Okay, motherfucker. Yo. Ah, oh, what is this? Oh, there we go. Yeah, like just in the right spot to not be able to hit me, but I hit him. He kind of, he, he was for a minute, but he moved a bit. Where you at, Deskito? I hear you. Oh, now oh, we got him. Motherfucker. No, we do not need, make, need to make it this hard. We could have shoot him with arrows, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> okay. Bolly, eh? Take some of that. See this this little corner here is really like not a bad spot for a portal, is it? In terms of safety. Called it filled, didn't we? What did we call it? <laughs> Planes. Noise. Um, let's put this here. I will do this. Um, might as well actually like get started on the wood harvesting. That's the wood harvesting. The stone harvesting. Considering the one right here. Sunday I've loved. By the way, guys, if you're watching the stream, um, the absolute best way you can help me out totally for free is to smash the like button on YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It actually makes it more likely for my content to show up in the recommended feed. Even if you're watching on Twitch, you can do exclamation YouTube or click the link in the description. And uh, head over to YouTube and just smash like, smash sub. I, I don't mind if you'd still rather keep watching on Twitch. Right, you watch where you want. That's cool with me, but smashing like and smashing sub on the YouTube stream really helps. Correct. Right. 
saw you on YouTube and came here. I only ever seen a speedrun and tricks tits videos, so I'm hyped to see how a pro casual plays the game. I appreciate that. Thanks, Jake. Hope you're doing good, dude. What's that cool uh, Twitch badge you've got there? It is cool, right? Yeah. I don't know if I've noticed that one before. Can't imagine how long it will take to speedrun Valheim after full release. Don't see how it goes. Yeah, same. I'm looking forward to figuring it out. But yeah, in case there's anyone watching that is that doesn't know, that might be a new player. This is basically the best source of stone in the game. Chopping down these giant things. If you just cut away the base of it, the rest of it will fall. Let's actually swap this over. I, I have the... Uh, pickaxe in the first slot a lot of the time. I keep pressing it. Diggy dealer, diggy diggy pillar. No, doesn't seem to the same for it. True. Man, I used to, I watched the, the Yogscast Shadow of Israel Minecraft series was one of the first Let's Play series I ever fell in love with. I, I know it was so freaking cool. Yeah, it's true that you don't get the full amount. It is, uh, it is a bummer, but at least most worlds are filled with a lot of them, so... Diggy diggy pole. Whoa! Whoa, it popped a lot sooner than I thought it would actually. Sometimes it can be a bit finicky. The first Valheim thing that I ever got any decent views I ever did was actually a TikTok of me doing this for the first time on stream. And me just being, being like, I wonder what happens when you do this. Let's try it for the science. And it's me like freaking out. Like, what the hell does that happen? All right. Diggy diggy pole is where it's at. I like it. We're rich in stone now. That's very true. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. oh, we've got a lot of other shit here. How much can we even carry? Uh, they announced ages ago that Ashlands is going to be in the first half of the year and that means it is June at the latest which is not long away at all so what do I mean by preparation? And create a new character, a new world. I'm going to do all the bosses. And once we've done that, I'm going to create a character build. That I think will be sufficiently prepared to take on the Ashland when it comes out. And when it does come out, I'll be uh, diving in and continuing on with this character and world.
Okay. Iron Gate doesn't really seem to do specific release dates anymore. They've not done it in a very long time. They always do what they've what they've already done now, which is just like they give you a time of year, basically, like first half of the year, and it basically just spontaneously comes out almost at the end of that time. So that's what we're going off right now. Wait, I'm lost. Oh, there it is. Yeah, honestly, I think it is a good way of doing it. Um, there's only two things I don't like about it. One is just my own personal time. Like being a content creator, like I cannot schedule that and... They seem to always do it when I was planning on having time off or relaxing. And I end up having to cancel all my plans because when it comes out, it's just super annoying. The second is, it doesn't mean... Um, wait, no, that's not, sorry. I don't know why I said it doesn't mean. Um, regardless of like how they approach like updates and stuff, right? There is always... A huge amount of people, maybe even most people, that bought a copy of Valheim, that s seem to still be in the belief that like they don't add to the game and everything takes forever, and they're not totally wrong. But I don't think that uh, public perception is remedied by them not having release dates. Because if there was a release date, then more people would be more aware of it which would uh, help combat that scenario a little bit. But, but yeah, I think it is actually, in a lot of ways, a really good way of doing it. What they do. It's exciting. And yeah, they, they don't disappoint people by delaying stuff. And honestly, it probably also results in quality. The, the problem with release dates with game development is, like, game development is so unpredictable and everything just takes such a larger amount of time than what you what you think even like even as if you're a super experienced developer it's like your experience in the games industry should inform you that whatever time you think it's going to take to do something it's going to take longer that's what experience brings it doesn't bring necessarily accurate <laughs> predictions because this is the nature of the beast of game dev um, and so because of that I think it it, it helps Poggy oh friendly lunatic thank you so much for gifting a sub to chat I really appreciate that thank you for gifting a tier 1 sub to Maka appreciate that bud Appreciate your support and the content and help me keep the dream alive. Um, right, we've got a lot of stone now. Um, we're going to get started on that wall upstairs. Exclamation Ash in the chat. We're way past. Um... The three hour mark for anyone that doesn't know that might be new to the stream usually instead of bombarding you guys with uh ways that you can support the content um i i typically just remind everybody all the ways they can support the content at the three hour mark because otherwise people do ask questions about it and uh, we're actually way past the three hour mark with almost three and a half hours so just to Remind anybody, the number one best way that you can support the content financially 
And it is the financial support of our community that allows me to continue making content for you guys. Uh, the one best way is actually on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Nick Rawcliffe. Patreon allows you to do monthly donations, sort of like a Twitch sub. Except you can do it for any amount of money. Even as little as one dollar. And how it works is, for instance, if you had to subscribe at the one dollar level right now, you'll donate one dollar to me right now. And then you'll be donating one dollar a month on the first of every month from then onwards until you cancel your subscription and you can cancel it at any time. Um, anyone that becomes a patron also gets invited to uh, two private Valheim servers and you get to play on there whenever you want with the rest of the community and you also get invited to play Valheim with me live on stream when we do service streams. Uh, the next of which is going to be in April. There's a link in the description to the Patreon, or you can do exclamation Patreon in the chat for the link. Poggy! Yo, real quick. My name's Fiendly Lunatic. Not friendly, cheeky, smiley face friend minus the R. Oh, also, it is Fiendly. Also, on Tay Valheim server ASAP. Now, carrot, carrot. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Fiendly. Sorry, yeah, I misread that. Thank you for letting me know. Um, yeah, so also uh, the Patreon is also always the uh, pins to the top of chat as well for anyone that's having trouble finding it. Uh, the next best way you can support the content content is actually by just by doing donations. Donations are the best way to do a one-off contribution because your money goes the furthest. There's a link in the description for that as well, or you can do exclamation donate. And when it comes to financial support, last but not least, you can also support the content live. Um, by doing super chats in the YouTube chat. By becoming YouTube members. The members get, ex uh, get access to random behind the scenes content. Um, or by cheering bits in the Twitch chat or becoming a Twitch sub. Also, don't forget to join the Discord. It's the number one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos. Estimation Discord and chat for that. Link in the description. This is going to be so secure now, chat. And the best way you can uh, support me completely for free just by smashing the like button on the YouTube stream and subscribing to the YouTube channel. Um, also, I do stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time for anyone that hasn't noticed. Um, so if there's a particular platform you prefer to watch on, knock yourself out. Don't mind which one you watch on at all. Uh, you can find the link to the other channel. You can do it on Twitch or YouTube, whichever one you're looking for in the chat. We get a bit more stone. See, I knew we'd need a lot of stone for this. Fuck is this canyon. Right, so... Building underneath... The Elder Base, right, is one of the most raid-secure locations to build a base in the game. Because this structure that the boss spawns on is actually invincible. So it gives you an invincible roof. Um... However, if hypothetically you got a troll raid and they're able to go right up to the edge, they could still smash and destroy some of your stuff potentially. So by digging a trench around it, 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 it basically does make it basically invincible. Um, so that's why I did a moat. But uh, the problem is with this geography of this area there's a goddamn river that meant that we can't dig down so people were able to to just walk in and cross our moat via the river trolls were able to do that and that already happened to us once 
So I'm just making like doubly sure. Just by layering up this corner a little bit. That trolls can't just walk in. Uh, ordinarily you wouldn't really have to do this with this elder base set up. It's just the geography of this area is dog shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, it may look kind of like scuffed or whatever. But it's very safe and pretty cheap to do. I'm not going to do it all the way around it. It's just like that corner. They, they, they're not going to be able to just like walk in now. You know what I mean? Do you think flame metal will be left in the game or replaced or removed when Ashlands is released? If I remember rightly, don't quote me 100% on this, but I think... Um, that what happened with the Yag thing is that it, it did actually change to the actual... Um, whatever they're called. The thingies that you make the uh, fountain with. I think it does turn... I think last time they did that, it did turn into the actual item. You might have had to move it around in your inventory to actually get it to pop or something weird like that. I vaguely remember that. But I think if you've been collecting flame metal, it should still turn into flame metal if that is what they turn the item into. Pretty sure. I'm not 100% on that one, though, like I said. Uh, in your opinion, Nick, what is the best Mistlands weapon besides a fire staff, which is OP? You know what? My views on Mistlands weapons have changed quite a lot as I've experimented with them quite a lot recently during the making of the Mistlands Only Challenge video. And the ones I enjoy the most do keep changing. But I actually do really like the Chrom now. And I wasn't the biggest Chrom lover when it was first added. But I really like it now, actually. Right. We need to get started on iron so that we can get started on building our base out of all this stone that we've farmed. Um, how are you supposed to get ore to your base if walls are mowed on the ground? Um, you can just jump a bit in your inventory, or you just um, quickly uh, build a little bridge. It's no big deal. Right. Let's get start. Oh, we're going to consider having another temporary portal. We've got a lot of temporary portals right now, but just because it would be faster. I think we need more fine wood if we want to do that. Yeah, we do. Let's do a fine wood run real quick. I like the Chrom specifically um, when fighting Seekers like one on one. Oh, I forgot we had this here. Should take this with us. The, um, what's it called? Like, the lightning staff thing. I, I, I'm a really bad at remembering the actual, like, Scandinavian words for stuff in the game. Um. Poggy, Robert, thank you so much for becoming a patron and supporting the content and helping keep the dream alive. I really appreciate that, bro. You legend. That really helps. Thank you. Uh, one thing you guys should know, by the way, about the Patreon servers. Right now, we've got two servers. This is how it's going to be. We've got the build server. 
and the survival server. The build server is a no reset server. We've had the same server since we originally started it ages ago, like years ago now, basically. And that is specifically for people just building. And there's loads of crazy, crazy builds on it. Um, oh, there was still mats in there. Um, right now, the build server is paused. Um, out, basically out of request of the community because we're about to hit 10,000 Valheim days on the build server. And we're going to do a 10,000 day celebration and actually hit 10,000 days live on stream um, one Saturday in April. I'm going to announce the exact date uh, or more, more. I'm going to send out more details about it, probably the exact date uh, next week. Um, so right now, the, the build server is actually temporarily not accessible, but it will be accessible again very soon because we want to do the live 10,000 day celebration. Um, the survival server, however, is, is fully accessible right now. And the survival server um, it is, is there's a, a wipe every major content update. So right now, there's not been a wipe since we added it when Miss Sam's Cup came out. But once the Miss once uh, Ashlands comes out, there'll be a wipe on the survival server. But the build server will remain untouched, so people can still keep building. The Chrom is also a good, yeah, really good value weapon as well. Chrom and Demolisher, pretty good value. That's true, Sacred Slippers. I think a lot of people are going to do that. Uh, June at the latest. It is very near, right? Any other room ideas for our castle base? We have a main hall kitchen. Oh, I see that. Conversation in the chat. Yeah, farm setups are definitely really cool. I'm stoked for Ashlands as well, for sure, dude. It's going to be awesome. Um, oh, we actually have a full stack. Did we get that bad rolls on that tree? We did. Thank you, Welsh. We're just stacking up our uh, fine wood right now because we're really like overdoing it with portals. Just to keep things organized really for the time being when we're in this temporary state. Actually, it might make sense to start with our portal room or our portal setup. I might keep the, it basically one big room. Open plan, Valheim Living. It's funny, though, that I forgot about... <laughs> 
this random smelter. Turn my light up a bit. Chat now the sun's gonna. We had the actual light coming through the window when we started the stream, but not so much anymore. Um. Right. Food. Yes. I just forgot what we're doing for a second there. But yeah, we were, we were getting a portal set up ready. Just for when we're actually... Looting crypts. So that we can kind of... Basically, it's kind of good to be able to go in and out. Of crypts. As you're... Looting them with a portal um, because there's lots of loot that you end up getting um, that you can port with right there's no point in porting any of that I'm just going to put a couple more empty shitty chests here. We're going to organize all of this once we actually finally get started with our base, which is going to happen momentarily. Are we actually low on eyes? I don't think we are. I think we've got some somewhere else, right? Okay. My Valheim character is better than me in real life. <laughs> Hell yeah, I feel that. It looks so tasty, all of this barbecue. Right over a spit. Damn. It's so good in real life. All right, chat. Here we go. It is Phil, isn't it? I was thinking I'm actually getting kind of hungry. And cooking in Valheim is making me hungrier. We actually brought so much shit we don't need. Mm. Ah, you know what? It's not that bad. Half this stuff we're... placing anyway. Zoom in on the mini map so I can see where I'm actually going.
do for now. Um. This is going to save a lot of time having a portal right here instead of having to go back. Oh, we're talking about the Abyssal Razor? I love the Abyssal Razor. So fun. Should probably get started on food in the next stream. <laughs> we're not even started. <laughs> so funny. Foggy, thank you so much, Mike. For gifting a YouTube membership, you legend. Thank you so much for supporting the content, bud. I really appreciate that, you legend. You're welcome, Austin. What's up, man? Hope you're doing good. When I get more hungry, I'm almost done. Four big trays of tiramisu, self-made. Three of them with cocoa over coffee. Don't like the bitter taste. Oh my god. This does sound so good. <laughs> Love the chill playthrough. Let's be honest too. Appreciate that, Austin. I'm enjoying playing the game not quite as fast still pretty fast really right but definitely it's it's actually sort of funny that it's somewhat of a novelty on this channel Up, dude. All right. Oh, look at this skeleton. How embarrassing for you. Oh, you're a goddamn archer, though, aren't you? What about this? Point blank. Yep. Can't aim like you can, point blank. Everyone knows that mobs have hacks when it comes to archery in this game. Here we go. Our first sunken crypt. Oh my god. That's crazy, Beanley. Suggested a poll. Coffee or cocoa? Done so, bro. Got to use these thousands for things somehow. True. After watching the speedruns for years, I've learned to use some of the strats. But since I'm not a speedrunner, my playthroughs are closer to what you're doing now. True. I can see that. Any chance you can take your time off in April, says May, and come back to Ashland's release fresh, 
or are you hoping gets released before you stream time off? I'm hoping it gets released before, depending of the timing of it. I forget the time so I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to have time off. Depending on the timing of it, I'm also thinking like, um, maybe, um, you know, like, I don't know that maybe, maybe I'll sort of be able to do both. If you know what I mean, it really just depends. I know, no, it's hard for me to make plans, you know what I mean? My dad has drug energy. <laughs> it's too much. First of all, I, I, I like, I'm contractually obligated to make a video as soon as Ashlands comes out, at least one. For a sponsor. Um, <clears throat> so I'd be coming back to make that regardless, even if I was having a time off. But, um, you know, may maybe I'll be able to sort of chill still and put out, like, Ashland's content. I don't know yet. But I am basically, regardless if it happens before or after, I'm hoping... Yeah, that it doesn't interfere. I'm going to be able to get some time off at some point this year, probably this summer. Regardless, I think, anyway, after Ashland, so be right. Yeah, we do already have a lot of bones. It's pretty funny. Um, actually, I guess we should go and dump some of this stuff before we get started with iron because we don't have room for iron. I've actually heard tiramisu is pretty easy to make. I've, I've known some people I've gone into making it before. Before I kind of managed to jump on the wall. Why isn't I doing it? That's annoying. It is actually, I agree. <laughs> First time catching live stream. Hope the prep goes smoothly. And you find that personal time. Thank you. That definitely important. Thanks, Todd. I appreciate that. Um. You can stash. Oh, this as well. 